Hello guys, welcome to our channel 3 Minutes Master, where you can learn any concept in 3 minutes. In this video, I want to give you a basic idea regarding Java non-access modifier. Here we go. Non-access modifier do not change the accessibility of variable, but they provide special properties to them. I mean, these are used with the classes, methods, variables and so-called constructors. They do not provide the control access but provide other functionalities. So let us observe them. Now Java provides 6 non-access modifiers. They are static, final, abstract, synchronized, transient and volatile. Here comes static. Hey, I'm static. I'm applicable to blocks, methods, nested classes and variables. I get memory only once in the class while the class is loading. In this example you can observe we have declared a static method with keyword static. This method can be called without object as the memory is created while loading the class. And next here comes final. Hey I'm final. I'm applicable to a variable or method or class. With me there is no changing of value. Here you can observe final int a and final float b have been declared. The program generates error when we try to modify it. And now it's abstract's turn. Here I'm, I'm abstract. I'm applicable to classes, methods but not variables. I'm used to achieve abstraction. With me any method will not have body. In this example you can observe abstract void x method as abstract. The body of this method can be found in its subclass that is class b and produces the desired output. Here comes synchronized keyword. Hey I am synchronized. I am applicable to blocks. With me only one thread can be executed at a time in a block. Here java synchronized method means uh, it make, I mean, make sure that only one thread can access a particular resource at a given point of time. And next one is Java synchronized block. It means that Java itself provides a way to create a thread and to synchronizing their task by synchronized blocks. Next comes transient. Hey, I'm transient. I'm a variable modifier used for serialization. In this example, as the ID is transient, Therefore, it is not serializable. Attributes and methods are skipped here when serializing the object containing them. And now the last one. Here comes volatile. Hey, I'm volatile. I'm similar to my friend synchronized. With me, a class or method can be used by multiple threads safely. Thanks for watching our video. For more videos, do subscribe to our channel 3mm. Master. If you like, hit the like button and bell icon there and do share with your friends. Don't forget to drop a comment.